Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans. Today is Professor Sportsman Z's lesson on how to set up the pitcher logic in the Stratomatic baseball game. Now, if you uh, are someone who is in a league where you make a, a CM file and you send it to, you know, the commissioner or whoever runs the league, uh, you want to be able to set your CM file up as accurately as possible and leave as little as possible up to hell the AI. And one of the things that um, you would want to do is you would want to have your bullpen set up so that the bullpen will, the AI will use the bullpen the way you would want it used. And today I'm going to show you how to do that in case you want to know. If you already know, then I don't know what you're watching this video for. But uh, let's take a look. We'll go to um, we'll go to my Elmwood League, and we'll go to my team, uh, the Providence Grays. You might have uh, known, and if you don't, you do now. So anyway, we uh, we are in. You click on the team, and you go to um. You go to Computer Manager, Update, you go to Update Computer Manager. And what you want to do is you, you it'll put you on the picture screen, and that's where you want to be. And now you can see here I've got my starting rotation, I've got my closer, Presley, and I've got Adam as my uh, listed as my setup man. Now this is not the picture logic. This is just you saying, yeah, here's my setup guy, here's my closer. Um, that still leaves way too much open for Hal. So if you want to make your bullpen uh, use the way that you want it to happen, what you need to do is come down here and click on Super Hal. And now, as you can see, we have all these empty uh, spots here, and we've got all of the pitchers listed that um, are available to me. Now, the pitchers that are in white are the ones that are currently active, and the ones that are in blue are the ones that are currently in the minor leagues. So, let's start by setting up a closer line, because everybody wants to, you know, the closer is the big line that you would want. So we're going to set up a closer line. So what I do is I type in right here in this empty uh, box at the top left, closer, so that I know that that's the closer line. Now, it's already on line ID A. And what we do is we now come over here and we're going to make line one be line ID A, which is the closer. Now. If you want the um, closer to come in when the when you are up by let's say two runs, if that's what you want, then you want to say um, the score is um, I think you want to say you would want to say that the score is. Yes, one to two, one to two. So within within two runs. Now, if you wanted to make it be three runs, you could say, you know, between one and three runs. But what this is saying is you're leading by one to two runs. Now, if you want them to come in in the ninth inning, <coughs> um. There are 27 outs in a baseball game. So you want him to come in on the 25th out. So you would say outs 25 to 27. 
Now this right here is the batter type and right now all of the boxes are checked and for the closer pretty much in general you would want that. You would want the closer to come in, doesn't matter who he's facing, you want him to face any of these guys. And um, and now what you do over here is you line these guys up the way you would want them in order. The pitcher at the top of this order is going to be the closer. And so for me, that would be Ryan Presley. So I would put Ryan Presley up at the top. And then maybe my next um, guy in order would be... Now, I'm going to make Jason Adam my setup guy, so I wouldn't, in general, I'm not going to make him, I'm not going to make him the second closer because in theory, possibly he's already come in because he was the setup guy. So I'm going to move Brian Baker up so that if Presley gets tired or he gets knocked out of the game or something, then the computer will go to Brian Baker. Um, and then maybe we'll say Joe Jimenez and um so on and so forth and you just keep on doing this now you can see this is line one i'm up by one to two runs um outs 25 to 27 against any batter line ida which is what this is and now the other thing that you want to be concerned with is whether you want to force this now, if you click this box like I just did, Hal will always use this line in this situation. You get to the ninth inning, you're up by a run or you're up by two runs, he will always go and get Ryan Presley um, if, he's, if he's not um, tired. And if he is, then he would go and get Brian Baker. So that's how you set up a line. Now let's take a look at another line. We'll, we'll do another line. Now we're on line IDB or ID line B, and we're going to move down to the next line here. So we're on B and I'm going to say, this is the setup. This is the setup line. So we do the setup line the same way. Uh, I wrote setup. I'm on line ID, um, the ID line B. And then we go over here. And so now the last time um, the score, it was the score you were up between one and two runs. Uh, for the setup, we'll say you're up. Um, well, you know what? We'll say the same thing. We'll say you're up by between one and two runs. Um, and there are now you're gonna now you're gonna make the outs you gotta go like i don't know how many it depends whether you want to go two innings back before the ninth or just one inning let's just go one inning back so uh the last time it was the 25th the 26th and the 27th out so this would be the uh what would this be 23rd 20 22nd be the 20 the 22nd to the uh, 24th, 22, 23, 24, right. So this would be the, uh, this would be the eighth inning that the setup guy would come in. Again, we would have him face every uh, batter because he's your general everyday setup guy. And we will change this to the setup line um, because this is the setup line that we're doing. Now we come back over here, we're on B, we're on line two, and now we're going to set up the setup line and Jason Adam would be my setup pitcher. So I moved Jason Adam to the top of the, uh, of the list and let's make Anthony Bass the secondary setup guy and uh you know joe jimenez whatever but anyway you get the idea you go you go in that um order and so now you have this is the setup line so now let's try something a little different let's try a um we're gonna try closer i'm gonna do a closer versus right-handed batter 
So now you just label that line closer versus right-handed batter. We come down here. This would be the third line down. And so you would want to make this, um, well, anyway, let's, let's go through this. Uh, you're going to do the same deal. Um, you're up by between one and two runs or one and three runs or whatever it is that you prefer. And uh, there are um, between, you know, there are, it, this, it's at the 25th out and through the 27th out. And this is the closer versus right-handed batter. Now, what you would do is you would uncheck the capital L because this is a straight up were a uh, straight up left-handed batter and you would keep the righty um checked and you would keep the switch hitter I I would say keep the switch hitter checked because they can bat either way so it doesn't really matter and then what you would do is uncheck the small r because this uh, you would want to keep the small l checked i think because this is a lefty who's better against a um right-handed pitcher and uh and this if if this is the closer versus righty then this is generally a right-handed pitcher so now we'll um just be just to make it different we'll put anthony bass up there at the top now of course you could set this up the same way now what you see here is that you have yeah you've got these checked again you could force this or not force it but what will happen now is Hal will only bring Hal will bring this line of pitchers in only against right-handed batters now um, this, I don't generally recommend this because uh, first of all, the computer is going to be set up so that he brings the pitcher, a relief pitcher, in. He has to face three batters anyway. So if the lineup is righty, lefty, righty, or righty, lefty, and reverse righty, or it's all kinds of messed up, you know, he's, he, I don't know. I, I, I My preference would be to just set up a closer line setup line and then uh there is another type of line you can make if you want and that is the um whatever the mop-up you can do a mop-up line and in the mop-up line we'll go down to id4 and let's say you're down um now i'm i'm not sure how what order this has to be let's say you're like negative negative four to uh negative well let's make it bigger than this let's make it negative six to negative four and uh let's say i don't know let's go back to um out number 18 or that's 81 let's go to out number 18 through 27 and uh this is going to be the mop-up line and so now you um you know you put whatever we'll put tanner scott at the top of that one so now Tanner, the computer would grab Tanner Scott if we got to the 18th out of the game and we were losing by anywhere between four and six runs. And uh, the reason I like to set a lineup like this is, especially if you have a lot of relief pitchers, if you have a, a, a deep bullpen, I like to do this because... That way I know that my good pitchers like Presley and guy, you know, and like Adam and Anthony Bass aren't going to be used, or at least they're not going to be used unless things get really bad and get out of hand. And so 
you know, you're using guys that you, um, you know, it, it doesn't matter if they're pitching and the game is out of hand. And the same thing, you could do the opposite. You could do this if you were up um, between four and six runs. You were leading between four and six runs, and you could label this um, blowout line. So, um, so that's, that's the pitcher's logic. That's how you set it up. Um, and then, you know, you'll, you'll get something a little bit more, and I will say, okay. And you'll get something a little bit more exact than this, which is probably what you want, because you want to leave as little to hell and his discretion as you possibly can. Uh, because another thing to keep in mind that I will just throw out there is if you have a starter reliever in your bullpen, a guy that, let's say, had uh, 87 innings or 93 innings and he spent he did a couple of starts, but the rest of it was all relief and he pitched 93 or 105 or something like that innings. If you have a guy like that in your bullpen, Hale is going to grab that guy every day and twice on Sunday and pitch the hell out of him. So if you don't want that guy pitching a lot or over pitching, this uh, one good way to control it is by setting up a pitcher logic line instead of just having the guy out there and saying, you know, only use him one or two innings. Because Hal will use him the full two innings every time that he's not tired. So anyway, uh, I just thought I would show you guys that. Um, uh, hopefully this is uh, helpful to you in getting you, uh, you know, ready for your leagues. Because I know leagues are getting ready to start here. I know ours are. Um, and... Um, if you thought it was helpful, leave a comment down below in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up for the video. But uh, that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.